Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to look at um, creating a MQTT SN to MQTT gateway using Node-RED. Now this is a partial gateway. Um, it's only going to work with uh, publishing uh, quality of service uh, minus one or three. Um, if you're not familiar with um, quality of service minus one or quality of service three in MQTT SN, it allows you to publish without actually a connection. So it's just a publish and there's no connection to the actual MQTT gateway or MQTT broker. Now, there are quite a few um, MQTT gateways around. Um, I did a tutorial and you can find it on the site uh, about the MQTT gateway. Uh, this is the standard diagram with it. You connect the client to the gateway and the gateway connects to a broker, an MQTT broker. Now, generally it's a one-to-one -one connection and most times the gateway doesn't start unless the broker is, is actually connected to the MQTT broker. So you have to have both uh, gateway and broker up and running. Now, I'm not a particular fan of, of, of these gateways. I actually prefer the really small message broker which unfortunately hasn't been uh, further developed but the message broker the uh, uh, really small message broker which is the precursor to mosquito uh, will actually broker MQT, mqtt sn traffic so you can send a message from one mqtt sn client to another mqtt sn client without involving mqtt and you can send it between mqtt sn and, and mqtt and vice versa using the really small message broker so i actually prefer that one and hopefully it will uh, eventually come out of mothballs and be developed further but i've been working uh, at the moment on actually creating an MQTT SN client um, using Node-RED and this is it here I haven't released it yet because it isn't finished and it actually relies uh, this um, flow should I say relies on a MQTT SN uh, packet um, module which you can download here it is here and it gives you the instructions on how to install it and this basically um, decodes all the packets and creates all the packets and this is an example of how to actually use it but this is in in node.js now i've implemented this in um, node red and i've implemented the receive node and i've implemented the publish node and also i've implemented connect, subscribe, etc. But we're not going to cover that one here. We're covering this one here. And while I was doing that, I realized that you can actually create a very simple uh, gateway, gatewaying um, quality of service three or quality of service minus one, whichever you prefer, traffic to MQTT. And this is the flow here. And what we can actually do is we can send um, MQTT SN traffic to MQTT and we can send MQTT traffic back to uh, MQTT SN client. We can also actually send traffic between two MQTT SN clients without a broker um, using this. So I'm just going to take you through the, the demo of this and the flow as usual will be available. You can download the flow and you can play with it yourself. And I'd really appreciate any comments on it, um, what you think of it, and what you think of the idea. So uh, here is our UDP node because MQTT SN works on UDP. This is the receive. I'm using strange port numbers here. You might find them strange because I've actually got quite a few um, MQTT SN uh, brokers running around on my uh, network. So I have to keep away from those and use a, a different port. And this is my receive, and this is going to receive uh, an MQTT SN uh, packet, and this is a published packet where it's going to receive. And you can see here on the setup, I'm using this module here, and this is the code in here. So we just basically set the parser and uh, pass on, and then we decode the packet and we send the, the payload out. And you can see, I'm not going to actually go through the actual code itself. Um, 
but you can see the output of the code. Now, what I'm going to do now, and this is now, so we're going to receive the MQTT SM packet. We're just going to change a couple of things on there. We're going to pick out the topic ID, and then we're going to pick out the payload. And you can, I'll show you the, the details in a second. And then we're going to send it to an MQTT node, and that's going to send it out via MQTT. Now, just to prove it's working, I've got an MQTT in node, and we're going to send it to a debug node so we can actually see it go coming on MQTT SN, and it's going to go out on MQTT. OK, let's just deploy that. Now, to get an MQTT SN packet, I'm going to use the um, the MQTT SN publish, uh, which comes with the actual really small message broker. And I've got that set up on another machine. You can use the uh, any any client you want, any MQTSN client you want, as long as you can publish. And I'm going to show you here, we have got one for Node-RED, so we can publish in Node-RED as well. But this one is going to first, I'm going to use the MQTT uh, SN publish node. And I'm publishing on a topic 1.1. And you can see it's coming in. I'm sending it to debug 147. And this is what the payload looks like. You can see I got a quality of service 3. It's a short topic. The topic ID is 11. That's basically the topic. And there's the payload there. And you can see why I decode the payload. So I'm taking out the topic ID and, and I'm taking out the payload. And then and that's what I do in these, this change node here. And then I send it into my MQTT node. It goes out on the MQTT node and comes back in here. And I see it on 148. And this is what I get on 148. I get the top, the payload, which is test. And that is actually what I'm sending. I, I'm not going to show you the other screen, but that's what I'm sending. Now, with quality of service uh, 3 or quality of service minus 1, you can only uh, publish using... Um, predefined topics or short topics, which is basically two characters, which is why you see the two characters here. Now, we can also take incoming MQTT traffic and send it to an MQTT SN client. Now, the publish packet is the same whether you're publishing from a client to a server or whether you're or publishing from a server to, to a broker. It makes no difference. The actual packet is the same. So here, down, down at the bottom here, I've got an MQTT in node, which I'm listening on port 22. Again, I'm going to change a couple of things on here. Then I'm going to send it into the MQTT SM publish, and I'm going to send it out on port 187. And that's going to be picked up over on here and sent out onto here. So basically, we're, we're doing a MQTT to MQTT SN. So I shouldn't need to deploy that. Now, to demonstrate that, I'm going to use the familiar Mosquito Publish. So I'm going to publish on port 22. Or let me just um, clear the debug so we can see it clearer. and. So we send it. And if we look now at our debug node, we can see here it comes in on 150. This is the MQTT. And it goes out out of here. And it comes back in here. And you see it on 147. And we see it on 149. Sorry, on 148. Right there. Okay, um, the reason we've seen it on 148 is because this node is actually wired to actually send it back out on MQTT and we'll receive it back in on here. And that is the reason I actually chose different topics um, to demonstrate it. I'm listening on 22 here and on this one I'm listening on uh, 11 and sending on 11. Otherwise we'd finish up with a loop. Now, one final thing there is that we don't have to involve MQTT at all. We can actually send traffic between two MQTT SN clients and receive 
uh, traffic without the broker. And this is basically an MQTD SN client sender, and this is a receiver part of it. So if I just publish it here, I just delete it here. Um, and it, it's coming in on 147 and this is the traffic here. It does actually get sent out, but it doesn't actually get received because we're, we're actually listening for, for on port 11, sorry, on topic 11 and not on topic uh, TT, which is what I'm sending here. Uh, this is TT, that's the actual test topic I'm sending out on. So, so that's it actually, a very simple MQTT SN to MQTT uh, gateway for quality service, uh, minus one or quality service three traffic. And also um, a very simple way of actually sending um, MQTT SN traffic between two MQTT uh, SN clients. Now, there is a restriction um, on the topic, the topic is restricted to a short topic because we're using quality of surface um, three. Um, that is imposed by this parser, by the packet parser. Now, you you could change this. You could change the code on the parser and actually accept long topics because you're not relying on the broker at all. But again, if you did that, that wouldn't be sticking to the MQTT SN specification. So this is actually staying with the MQTT SN specification, uh, restricted to short, traffic, uh, short topics. Uh, just a quick note on the flow. I actually use the ADS broker in, in this flow here. Now, if you haven't got it installed, you can uh, you don't have to use it, you can just use a Mosquito Broker um, and just delete this from, from the flow. I just did it out of convenience. Uh, so that's it. Um, if you like the video, then click on the like button. If you've got comments, and I really would appreciate some comments, um, use the comment form. And if you'd like to get notified of new videos, then you can always subscribe to the channel. Until next time, goodbye.